Good morning children. I'm so excited to be here. My name is Teacher Yvonne and today I'm going to take you through today's lesson about Easter. And with me, I have somebody who who's joined us to be helping me with this lesson. Let her introduce herself and thank you. Hi boys and girls. My name is Teacher Liz and I'm so excited to be here. I hope you're excited as well and ready to hear the word of God. But before we start, what do we do? We pray. Let's humble ourselves before the Lord and pray. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you that, Lord, you've prepared a word for us today. And, Lord, we pray that you, you, you enable us to understand and carry that word throughout the week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I can't hear you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good. So I'm going to start about... Um, about what we learned last week. Last week we learned about what? I'm going to ask Teacher Liz to take us through what we learned last Sunday. Teacher Liz, can you help us with that? Yes, I remember there was a story about Jesus being with his disciples and then he went to pray and asked his disciples to pray, but they didn't pray, they slept. And I remember Pastor Boni uh, snoring the way the disciples were snoring. Can you remember the way Pastor Bonnie was snoring? Was it like that? I think so. Yes, he was snoring, but Jesus prayed and then he was taken away by some soldiers and they crucified him and it was a very sad story. I remember it was a very sad story. They crucified Jesus and they, they killed him. They put him on the cross and killed him. And when he died, the, uh, a man named Joseph took his dead body and put him in a tomb and rolled a very big stone over the tomb to cover it. Is that why you have a big stone there to teach Yvonne? Oh yes, and that is why children, I have this big stone and this is where I'm going to start with our story today. So after Jesus was crucified, as teacher Liz has said, he was taken by Joseph of Arimathea into a tomb. And inside the tomb, they wrapped Jesus in a nice, clean, white linen, and they sprayed some herbs and perfume so that Jesus could not smell, and they put him in a tomb. And with me here, I have a nice tomb. Can you see my tomb, children? Doesn't it look like a tomb? Okay, so we are going to put Jesus inside. Let's fix Jesus inside. Let's fix Jesus the way they buried him. And he was put inside the tomb. And then they rolled the stone. Help me to roll the stone, please. Please, let's roll. Teacher, let's roll. Roll the stone. Roll. And they rolled and rolled and they put the stone over the tomb. And with that, they had two soldiers who were standing outside the tomb so that they can guard Jesus. And these soldiers stayed there day and night so that nothing could happen to the body of Jesus. And on the third day, which was on a Sunday, a lady named Mary Magdalene woke up. He loved Jesus very much and he was not happy that Jesus died. Are you happy that our Jesus was crucified? No. I'm not happy. Actually, I'm so sad. But on the third day, Mary woke up and went to check if Jesus was still there and if he was still fine, as much as he knew he was dead. So as he was going, he had a loud noise, like an earthquake. Can you do like an earthquake? Can you shake, 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 shake? Shake, shake, yes, just like that. And it shook, and the, the, when it sh uh, the ground shook like that, an angel appeared from heaven. And this angel rolled the stone over the tomb, and he removed the stone. And when he removed the stone, and Mary got to the tomb to check on Jesus, the body of Jesus was not there, yeah? The body of Jesus had, had, well, had not disappeared, but Jesus had risen. He rose and went into heaven. And when he rose and went into heaven, the disciples stopped Mary. Because Mary was so worried, he kept asking himself, herself, what happened to the body of Jesus? And the disciples, disciples um, the angel told him, told her that uh, Jesus' body had risen and gone into heaven and that he should go back and tell his disciples that Jesus had said they should meet into Galilee, that he had gone in front of them and they meet in Galilee. So that is the end of my story for, the, for today. 
it, it, it teaches us that Jesus was buried, he stayed in the tomb for three days, and on the third day he rose. And with that, I would like Teacher Liz to help us in understanding what we have learned today in our lesson. Teacher Liz, what did you learn from this lesson? That Jesus defeated death. Wow, what do we do when somebody gets something correct in our class? A balloon or a sticker? Hmm, let me think. I think we can do both, yeah? We are being generous, right? So we are going to give teacher Liz a balloon. Can you see my balloon? And we are going to get a sticker for teacher Liz from our sticker book. Yay. You remember our sticker book? Hope you've not forgotten it. So we are going to get a sticker for teacher Liz, which says that teacher Liz is a superstar. Yeah? So this is a sticker on teacher Liz's hand. Yes. Thank you. And a balloon for teacher Liz. Teacher Yay. Liz has said that Jesus defeated death. Again, Jesus rose and went into heaven so that me and you can be free of sin. And this teaches us that when Jesus died, he carried all our sins and he died on the cross so that me and you can be free of sin. Thank you for having us and thank you for listening to us. And next week, I'll be sure to ask all of us questions what we have learned during this lesson. And with that, Charlize would like to show us something. Okay. Now we've learned about Jesus dying on the cross. They tore him. They tore him into pieces, into many pieces, and killed him. Kabisa, kabisa. And he died. You see the way Jesus died. And they died and tore him into pieces, into smaller pieces. But on which day did he rise again? I know Charlize, on the third day. On which day, boys and girls? On the third day. On the third day. So on the third day, on the third day, we see Jesus rising up from the dead. See? Wow. Jesus rising up from the third day. See? Wow. Did you Jesus see that? Jesus rose again on the third day. Are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited. I like that. Did you see? Even after being slashed, being whipped, they spat on him. They put a, a, a crown of thorns on his head. He still came out on the third day in one piece. With that... Thank you for being with us. We'd like to take up uh, to say a short prayer before we go. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for this day. Thank you, Lord, because you died for us and you rose for us. Help us to be obedient children while we are, we are at home during this season. Help us to forgive and let us learn to obey you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye, kids, and I hope we'll see you next time. It was nice having you, and we Bye. miss all of you. Bye. Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're having a good morning this morning. With me is uh, Teacher Maureen. Are you excited to be here, Teacher Maureen? Oh, yes, very much. Yes, we are all excited. I hope you enjoyed your Good Friday and you're enjoying your Easter weekend. Today, Teacher Maureen is going to tell us the lesson. And before that, let's pray for her. Let's put our hands together and bow our head for a word of prayer. Father Lord, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for this Easter weekend, mighty Father. We thank you for our friends. We thank you for everyone that is listening to this lesson. We pray that, mighty Father, we will understand what you want us to learn. We pray for Teacher Maureen as she brings the lesson for today. In Jesus Christ, we pray this trust and believe in. Amen, 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 amen. Hello, hello, hello to you children, boys and girls. Hi, let's wave in the air. Is everyone awake or some people are still asleep? If your brothers, your sisters are awake, we thank God. If they're still asleep, please go and wake them up. Wakey, wakey, it's time to listen. Six to 12 years old. Karibuni sana. We are so excited to be here, teacher. Are you so also excited? excited. Today excited. is a very lovely Sunday and trust me, children, when I say this, we miss you a lot. We miss you in church and we thank God that we can have this platform just to 
have you listened to the word of God and have you been taught? Thank you very much. Have you taken tea? I believe if you're taking tea, I want you to take your tea as you listen. I want you to sit and just have your Bibles, your notebooks and your pens ready to write. Today's lesson is so exciting. We are going to to, to learn more of how Jesus resurrected and even celebrate. Oh yeah, we are going to shout, we are going to celebrate, we are going to just, you know, be happy and, and just celebrate and sing along. And I believe we will all enjoy. With your pens and your Bibles with you, please write today's reading. We are getting it from the book of Matthew chapter number 28 and verse 1 to 10. We are not going to read it. You will read it on your free time. And then we are also going to have uh, another reading from the book of John chapter number 20, verse 1 to 23. We are also not going to read for the sake of time. And I want to believe that even as I say this story, you will follow it up with me. Oh, I am so excited. Are we ready to listen? If someone is talking next to you, please tell them, teacher is speaking, we are learning and we are listening today. Now, the Bible talks about the empty, the, 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 the day Jesus resurrected, the empty tomb. Or rather, we will also call it on our own that Jesus is alive. That is our topic for today. And before that, we just want to talk about last week. We learned about Jesus' crucifixion crucifixion and we learned that Jesus died on the cross for our sins for your sins and for my sins too and on the third day he rose again on the third day he did what he rose, he rose again, again teacher yes. on the third day remember Jesus was crucified he was beaten and he was buried and on the third day he rose again and how do we find out how he rose again in the morning of Sunday Mary Magdalene and the other Mary woke up to go and check on Jesus. Remember, he was buried in the tomb. And the tomb, they rolled a big stone to actually close the tomb so that no one would actually go in to look for him or no one should actually go and steal his body. And they also put the soldiers on the door. That very morning, when the two ladies walked, they found the stone was rolled away. There was no stone. Wow. And they were so surprised. And at that moment, an angel from heaven appeared to them. And the earth shook. There was an earthquake, a big earthquake. And they, they held on to themselves. You know, when they, there is a, there's an earthquake, you know, the, 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 the ground shakes. And so the angel came down and the angel talked to them. Don't be afraid. This was what the angel said. Don't be afraid. The one you are looking for is no longer there. He is not lost. And nobody took him. But he is risen. And the women were so excited. They, 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 they were so amazed. You know, they, they, they wondered how. I mean, we just buried him the other day, and this is the third day, and then he rose again. Oh, yeah, okay. So they said, okay, fine, let's go. So Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, they started walking. On their way to go and talk to the disciples of, Christ, of Jesus, they met Jesus. Jesus actually appeared to them, and wow, they saw him. They saw him and they were so excited. They went down and they worshipped him. They touched his feet and they worshipped him and they were so happy. And they said, oh my God, you are alive, you are alive. And as they were so excited and Jesus just spoke to them and told them, go and tell the other disciples that I'll meet them. I've gone ahead of them. I will meet them in Galilee. And so children, do you know what happened? Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went and talked to the disciples. And the disciples were like, oh, wow, we want to see him. And so they went where Jesus had said they would meet. So on their way to Galilee, uh, Jesus appeared to the disciples. They were in a room and they were still worshiping God. They were still praying. They were still together. And Jesus appeared in the room for them to see him. And when they saw him, they were so amazed. They were so happy. They said, how? You are here. You are here, Jesus. We are so excited to see you, the disciples said. 
And so Jesus told them, yes, I am here. And he showed them his hands and he showed them his feet and they saw it and they believed that indeed Jesus had rose again. Children, this is what happened when Jesus was crucified on the cross. He died to set us free. He died so that we can be free of sin and free of death. He died so that you and me can be, can have another life, can have a good life. And so today we are just going to learn more on how Jesus resurrected and we were set free. And for those who believe in Jesus Christ, we were made to be like him or rather we were made to be his children. And so we want to just say that today is a celebration Sunday. Today we are celebrating the, 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 the resurrection of Christ and that we are so excited that in, in your own way we can worship, in your own way you can call on to Christ, in your own way you can reach out and just celebrate this day. Let us believe all and say that Jesus Christ is risen again. And one more thing, I can just tell you today that with the power that God, with the power that God had given, uh, with the power that God had given Christ, and so Jesus rose again from the dead. He defeated death. He defeated sin. And so together we say, He is risen, and we will still continue to say that He is risen. He is risen. He is risen. And on that time, on 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 on, on that note, I can always say that even. If you believe in your heart that Jesus is risen, believe that he is risen on the third day, let him be risen in your hearts. Let him be risen in your life. Let him be risen in the, everything that you do. Even during this time, so many things are happening. Let us keep on reminding ourselves that Jesus rose again for me and for you. And he's alive. He's just not alive that we believe and as we read in the Bible. No, let us believe that he is alive life in our hearts, in our lives, and in everything that we do. Amen? Amen. And so Teacher Boni will share with us the memory verse today. And, where's the memory, and verse the memory verse is from the book of John chapter 5 and verse 24. Are we there? If you have your Bibles, children, you can also open and then with, 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 the, with the help of your parents, maybe if you do not know how to open the Bible, with the help of your parents, open the book of John chapter 5 and verse 24. I Teacher Boni, you are there? Yes. Let's okay, read okay. along with Teacher Boni. So I'm going to read from the book of John chapter 5. John chapter 5 from verse 24. Yes. From verse 24. It's only verse 24. Okay, mm. it says, I tell you the truth. Those who listen to my message and believe in God, who sent me have eternal life. They will never be condemned for their sins but they have already passed from the death into life. Wow, that's a powerful memory verse. Oh, yeah. yes. Read it again, please, for so them to hear again. The book of John, chapter 5, again. Our memory verse comes from the book of John, chapter 5, from verse 24, and it says, I tell you the truth, those who listen to my message and believe in God, who sent, my, who sent me have eternal life, they will never be condemned for their sins, but they have already passed from death into life. Oh, yes. yes. And I would want to encourage you children, even as we close, please share the message of victory, the message of Jesus has risen again from the dead. Mm -hmm. Share with your friends, share with your brothers, mm -hmm. share with your sisters, even your parents. Share with them and just tell them how Jesus rose and he's alive. He's alive today. Okay? It is nice to have heard from you, to, to, to have, uh, you know, talked to you. And I, 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 we miss you a lot. And we pray that we will see each other very soon. And even as we continue to, to stay home, we remember to stay safe also. Remember to wash your hands frequently. Remember to sanitize your hands if you do not have water close to you. Remember to wear masks every time you go out. Uh, maybe you go to play or you are going somewhere with dad or mom. And please, above all, remember to pray. Remember to pray. Don't forget that. Remember to pray. I'm really happy and excited knowing that Jesus is within me. 
Very so, good. And before we close, allow me to pray yes. for this week, this coming week, and the rest of the days. So let's put our hands together again for a word of prayer. Father Lord, we thank you for the message that you've given us. We thank you that you are alive in our hearts. Father, we pray as we start our week, oh Father, that you will be in us. We pray that you will be alive in our lives, oh Father. We thank you for Teacher Maureen. We thank you for all the teachers. We thank you for our parents, for our guardians, and everyone who is close to us. We pray for the sick. We pray for their healing. In Jesus' name, we pray this trust and believe. Amen. 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 Amen.